Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Canada Lounge at TIFF in downtown Toronto. I'm here with composer Mark Adler. How does it feel to have your feature film, The Merchants of Doubt, here at TIFF? It feels great. It feels great. Actually, this is the third film that I've had at TIFF that I've worked on. So um, it's starting to feel like really comfortable. Wow, I'm back in Toronto. This is so cool. <laughs> and, um, and of course, we were really, really excited when we found out that Toronto was going to be screening the film. So, yeah. Great. It, really and you worked on this film for a year or, or okay? On, on and off, but mostly on, yeah. So this is something that's really rare for composers. I yeah. feel like usually you're brought in, you know, maybe a bit later in the process. Exactly. So how did this whole thing come to be? Well, um, you know, I've been working with Robert Kenner, the director, for um, about 20 years, actually, a little more than that. So we have a long uh, history of working together. And in the past, uh, traditionally, of course, I'd come on around the time that there was at least a rough cut, right, or, or a fine cut, and I'd start responding to the picture and working that way. On this one, um, it seems that the, as Robbie and I worked together over the years, he seems to bring me on earlier and earlier. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, a lot of directors use temporary music when they're editing their films, and sometimes they get attached to their temporary music. So Robbie really didn't want that to happen, so he wanted as much of my music in as early as possible so that he wouldn't get used to somebody else's music and have to sort of push it out. So that was one reason to get on earlier. The other reason was that um, the music sort of plays a role in this film in which it really helps create the tone and the atmosphere in a more proactive way than, than many scores that I've worked on. So in trying to determine what that tone was, mm -hmm. we wanted the time to experiment and try different things. So that's another reason why I, I came on so early. He was actually shooting while I was composing. Wow. I mean, it was that kind of crazy. That so, so cool. yeah. And what was it about uh, the subject matter of the film about, you know, I guess starting with cigarettes uh, way back when, how um, institutions have spun that it was healthy for you, and now we're sort of dealing with the spinning of global warming and it, that it's not a big deal when it kind of, it really is. Right. So what, what what was it about this story that really uh, drew you in? Well, I think you, you sort of put your finger on it. It's, it's basically that um, uh, climate change, which, which is real, um, and in fact, uh, virtually there's no disagreement among climate scientists that there is climate change and that humans have a role in it. But if you watch the news, you would think it was like almost like a 50-50 debate. So the question is, why do people have that perception? And the reason is that there are kind of professional spinmeisters who go out there to try to confuse the public about um, what's basically accepted science. Um, and, and there's part of me, I'm a composer, but I've got some scientists and mathematicians in my family, and I've always been interested in science. Um, and I've always had a kind of concern for bigger social issues as well. So for me, it was really kind of a perfect film. I get to write music for something that, that uh, contains subjects that I'm really passionate about, that I care about, you know, okay. so. And as you said, you've been working with Robert for many years now. Uh, what was it like for you? Because Food Inc. kind of exploded and became like a mass, mass hit. So what, has, what was that whole experience like for you? Well, it, it, was, it was great. I mean, that's actually another example of a film that was wonderful to work on, N not just because it captured the attention and, and, and um, got under so many people's skin and, and actually changed the way people, a lot of people ate and, and bought their food. That was exciting. But also a number of years ago, um, you know, really before I became a film composer, when I was much, much younger, I had my own little organic garden in my backyard. I mean, I was really serious about this stuff. So to suddenly be working again on a film that, that uh, you know, contained... Um, information and, and, and the subject of which was, was stuff that I was like into, you know, at one point in my life pretty passionately, you know, it was like sort of a dream come true, the same sort of deal, so, okay. yeah. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and all of your music as well online? Okay, well, so I do have a website, it's mark, markadler.com. Great. Managed to get that before another Mark Adler got it, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, there isn't anything on Merchants of Doubt there yet, but there probably will be by next week. So I've got to get the website up to speed Great. and up to date. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations. And enjoy the rest of your time at TIFF. Thanks very much. Thank it's a pleasure. Thanks. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Canada Lounge at TIFF in downtown Toronto.